Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some Zoe mid lane versus Cassiopeia. It's kind of an annoying matchup because normally uh, if they have this Conquer rune page with Resolve, that means that they're double dipping into the Tenacity rune pages, meaning my bubble. Uh, it's just going to be less effective. It takes a while to uh, get my Q sometimes prepped when they're asleep and they don't give me much. Of course, she can't buy Merc Treads because she can't buy Boots, but I mean, she still has Tenacity, which is just pretty annoying. Uh, if somebody comes in, I'll probably start Bubble. This is the reason why you never want to start off with an ability if you ever do stuff like this, because if I started off with Q, that might make it so we can't kill someone here. I need to go back mid really bad. Anyways, these are the runes that I'm running this game. Going for Electrocute Rune Page. I really like going uh, not Biscuits as well, because I feel like I normally don't uh, run out of mana to the point that I just could just base instead, so... So we'll just hit her with an auto attack plus Q. Simple trade. Lee Sin's gonna come mid. I'm trying to also play kind of dumb because she might overextend when he comes. Dude, hello? Doesn't matter if I miss mine because you have yours, right? Wait, you don't have Q. Okay, he has W and E. I honestly didn't really know what abilities he had. I just assumed he had Q, so... I thought that one of us would land our abilities. I mean, she did walk into it, which is great, and I didn't die, but... I'm in not the best position right now. She wants to get me so bad, man. I have a still flash, though. If she keeps on stepping on my bubbles and I don't get it by her cues, we're going to be fine, so... The only reason why I got hit by one of her cues in the first place was... Oh, you can't even do it, dude, because you got hit by her miasma. I'm probably dead here. I dodged it, but it doesn't even matter. I'm going to die to Ezreal. I tried getting away, but I got flashed on. I played that pretty well. That sucks. Yeah, her W counters Lee Sin because he can't use his dash. So, oh nice, but they got the person that flashed for me though, which is sick. That also does, that guy has no flash, so. No, he'll, he'll probably die here. Oh! Okay, well, at least they killed him. I mean, it's just a... Clown Fiesta of a game, huh? Let's hit her with a Q. That did, like, zero damage, to be honest. Hit her with that. She keeps on walking forward, so a lot of these bubbles are pretty easy to land because she's just giving me an opportunity to throw it past the minions. The hardest part of a landing bubble in lane is when they just stand behind minions, but she just really doesn't care. She just steps forward. That being said, I can't really kill her that easily. It still takes like a lot of time. Because she's a pretty tanky character. I have burst damage, but my consistent damage is mediocre unless I have my W up. My W damage is really high. I'm getting really unlucky with these balloons. I got none. Okay. She has to step up further than that for me to do something. The way I got her, dude. She's dead to ignite. Also, that guy just stepped on that. Got him with the Q. Well played, man. 
Lee Sin it does so much damage now. I feel like Riot has buffed him significantly just over and over and over again to the point that feels like... I mean, he landed Q on Cassio and brought her down to half just from, like, the most simple combo ever. Just really shocking. I probably should have bazed here. I'm going to try to clear out this ward in the meantime. Now I'm stuck in lane uh, where it's not really the most comfortable. I might just base and just give up the wave. Okay, so there's a different style of Zoe that I've been seeing where you can uh, get off better uh, bubbles plus Qs where you go Ionian rather than Sork Boots. So I might go for that this game. Also, Merc Treads is very powerful as well. So... I'm not going to go for that because that's boring, though. Going Merc Treads versus uh, this much AP would be so strong if I really was a Merc Treads enjoyer, but I just think it's such a boring item. That guy's gone for sure. Oh, you're probably dead, dude. See you later. You got hit by a Lux Spine, so not really much you can do there. I just used your thingy. Oof. He used DMAT on the minion, and I took it anyways. That's what I mean about I don't have that much time to do it. She woke up so quick there. If I can land one more bubble, she should die at next Q. I just need to make sure Q is up. Because if you use bubble and Q at the same time, then you have to wait. And that obviously sucks. I'm trying to see her since my R gives a little bit better vision. In the direction that I throw it in. I'm probably not going to be able to get... Oh, wow. She's stuck around? That was really close. 1 HP. You're dead with me. I wasn't even worth the shutdown, so 1 for 1 trade plus getting her flash is okay with me. I didn't even know that I was facing her there. It didn't feel like I was, but... Now I can go for the item that I want. I'm probably not going to be going for, like, I don't think Lyandry Zoe's exist, but this is a good item if you do want to get that um, ability haste that you're missing from going Ludens. It's a... She used all of her sums. Literally every single sum and ultimate. I might be able to go contest the Rift Herald. I think he's on it. I know that my team wants to do this, like, kill the Cassio here, but... This 900 damage. Got it. He has to be upset about that one. Your smites deal different damage every single time. He doesn't even have his empowered smite, by the way. His does 600, so... Jesus dead, well played. I could look for another bubble here. I could still look. Nice, good kill. I'm just going to pop this bot. You guys can have it. I don't really care. I'm just going to go back mid. Yeah, Cassio is super easy to catch because she has no mobility. And uh, she used her flash recently. So as long as we land bubble on somebody, chasing is always an option if I have my teammates nearby. Echo went bot. Oh. 
Do I just die here? Wow. I can't R forward. Okay, cool. Well, that's unfortunately uh, death for me. Because I'm just stuck under tower and you can't flash out. My flash is completely worthless even though I have two of them. Yeah, if you R forward, your next... Your character can't turn around ever. It doesn't matter how you play it. So that's probably what happened. Why I died. I can't turn around. So she can just press R on me. I played pretty disrespectfully because honestly I think that... She kind of walks into a lot of things, so... I shouldn't have done that. Dang, I was hoping she would be there. She has double buffs off that, so that's kind of annoying. I'll have to play further away with my uh, R's. Thought she would juke into it. She didn't, though. Let's back away now. As soon as she finishes Archangels, she'll become w really difficult to kill because of her... Uh, Her shield that she'll get. She's gonna give that up? Okay, cool. I don't think we're gonna be able to get her. She might have just based. Oh, maybe we can get her. God, my cooldowns are so low. It's so nice. Normally, if a bubble like that landed, you would never be able to kill them or uh, hit a Q off them, but this build path allows you to go for those Qs without... Mm, there's a fight going on. Putting yourself in that much danger of not having your ability back up. I miss my Q, but I can just dodge hers. It's fine. As long as I just dodge hers, it's okay. Really? That guy has flash too? Yo, where's Lee Sin? He died? What? My Lee Sin died! Oh, that sucks, dude. I could have killed everybody there if I just missed, didn't miss my first Q on a stunned target. I'm not playing for content, I swear, guys. I'm not trying to make the game last longer. Uh, Shadow Flame probably is going to be the best. They do have some shields too, so that's going to be pretty beneficial. I'm surprised my Q didn't kill him here. I really thought that I had him, but whatever. At least we killed Cassio. That's what I wanted. Not sure why I pinged her flash there, but whatever. <clears throat> She's getting closer to her item. Minion block is so annoying there. I was trying to find an angle for a bubble, but... They might be able to kill Cassio. She does probably have ult. Nice kill. Bubble makes it so when he TPs back... That will stun me. I can't stay. I'm not sticking around for this, dude. I'm gonna get myself killed. These minions are so annoying. Okay, get his cleanse at least.
There's no way I'm gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna back off, go back mid. Can I get one of these plants? Nice. Always put my Q over the wall too, so I just have an easier angle on the minions. Oh wait, well she doesn't have Archangels yet, so... We're still kind of just chilling. Until she finishes that item, we still have crazy cool threat on her. Wow, she is in a dangerous spot here, isn't she? Nice, dude. That guy also has no uh, ultimate, so... looking for bubble, but I think that she just ran away from the wall, so there's no reason to throw it. I'm only going to throw it if there's an angle. No chance that I get that guy. It's good that I landed it, though. I wonder if Lux is going to ult me just to stop. No. Okay. Let's go back to basing. The Trinomir is a huge issue, by the way. Our top lane is down 70 CS. Oh my god, good thing that guy didn't immediately jump on me. Probably could have. Does he die? No. Hmm. Their scaling is really good, so... She finished her Seraphs. She'll get a gigantic shield now. No bubble angle either. She's not sitting in there, is she? I don't think she she could have gotten in without the minion seeing her. If she isn't there, that's a pretty bad thing for me. Okay, we see her. Very close landing bubble. Landed the Q though, so big damage off. I'm honestly just caring about getting my item. As soon as I get my item, I'm out of here. Which is right now. Got my Shadow Flame. We'll be dealing way more because we'll have way more pen. The thing is that obviously not going uh, those Sork Boots sucks for our damage. But thankfully, I mean, Zoe got those buffs to her E giving the Magic Resist Shred, so... You shred a lot. We should definitely be focusing on getting this dragon. Cassio is still top. Unsupported. I can probably clear it. I'm in a pretty safe position, in my opinion. Trinomir is going top. I don't know why Leeson's trying to 1v1 a Cassiopeia rather than play for the objectives. Kind of strange, but... I can look over walls with my R. They might try to do Baron if Leeson dies. I mean, they have Cassiopeia too. Can't kill that. They're not on it, so we don't need to walk in now. As long as we know that they're not on it, it's fine. They are in our jungle, I think. Wow, that was probably really close landing on her. I'm at a good spot in the game where we should probably be trying to find picks by getting vision control through shoving out and then going for it. We have nothing to farm bot.
I think he just cleansed. Yeah, he did. So now that guy's cleanse is down. Leeson's fighting Cassiopeia again. For some reason. Guy's dead. Landed bubble, but we gotta leave because we're getting TP'd on. Is anybody gonna defend bot? That guy's gonna be able to take that so quick. I probably have to go Zanya's as well, just to make it so I don't get one shot on her tower because he could probably just dive me. Okay, cool. He actually didn't continue pushing. He has Holdbreaker as well, so we know that he only wants to be split pushing for the entire game alone. I can just poke, but that's all I got. At least he didn't... Okay, are they on that? Our vision control is so bad when they can't be Echoes there. Please tell me you don't die 1v1 to this guy, dude. Wow, he's actually fighting him. Kind of. Yo, you're doing it. Let's go, man. Well played, you honestly live with 1 HP. Nice. They are on it. I can blue trinket pretty soon. Oh, it's not even close to being done. This fight should be pretty good. I can probably get behind them. I'm trying to play for two separate targets here. Holy oh, send your kick. Are you serious, dude? Whatever, I still kill him. I'll just use his own flash. My Q was on point. The thing is with Q is that if you ever want to catch someone off guard, using your own flash is better than R because it is way faster reaction. So that's why I did it. Because Ezreal would have had no chance to react to that. Do we have Smite? Oh my god, dude. We didn't. This guy has no ult, so he should just die. Used it, bot. Now we just do dragon and the game's just over. I can build a Magi, sell this. I can't sell that actually. I'll just buy a blue pot. I think next fight will be the last one. What I wanted to do is sell the Dorans and buy a Fiendish Codex for just even more CDR. So I can just continue just throwing 1000 damage paddle stars over every single wall before every objective, but. Jax is Jaxing. He's also not taking any damage whatsoever, literally taking like full combos on repeat. Dang, I tried getting my Q over the wall, but it didn't uh, go. Well, this game should just be done now, maybe? I mean, they did respawn, but depends on if we want to go for Dragon or just end with Baron minions. Good Q, big damage. Nice kick back. Hit Echo. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Zoe commentary versus Cassiopeia. Uh, she had the most deaths on her team, but Lee Sin definitely helped out with some of the early game by getting that first kill, but yeah, Zoe's an early game menace where even inside like 2v2s, you could, I, I, we did lose a 2v2, but that's because Cassio Miasma just counters Lee Sin Q so hard. I'll give it to him even though he made some odd decisions later. I'm guessing my damage is the most, yeah.
Wow, Jack's damage is really high up there too. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, of a Zoe commentary. I know I have many Zoe commentaries on this channel, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.